Alrighty, let's do this. The brand new CK1 Summer Days. Um, this is going to be like clockwork, Calvin Klein's uh, summer edition that they do each year for the CK1 line and also for the Eternity line. So I already covered Eternity Summer Days uh, a good while back. And that one actually came out uh, on all the big retailers right away. Um, and yet you still really can't find this one at the retailers yet. I actually had to buy this from overseas. So I'm not sure what's going on there. It's weird the uh, difference between the two. You would think they would both be released at the same time, but not the case here, at least from what I've seen. Uh, but, you know, to go off track here, uh, Eternity Summer Days actually impressed me. It had the spearmint note, a little bit of a sweetness, not your typical boring and flat summer edition. There was a bit going on to that one that I liked. So here we have CK1 Summer Days. One thing I just noticed on the back is this has a vegan formula. Um, so that's good to know, I guess, right there on the back, it says it on the top. So, you know, I think that's kind of the trend a lot of these brands are going towards. And I know you couldn't see that, by the way, obviously, but you know, it, it's there. When you get your bottle, you'll see. So I think we have nothing else to do but to crack open this one and see what it's all about. So on the side, it says vegan formula containing ingredients from natural origin, uh, formulated with natural derived alcohol and packaging containing recycled materials. The reason why I'm saying it with this tone is because literally you have to rotate the box to be able to read that stuff. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. Cool, cool concept. You know, kind of like Polo Earth, right? Just came out and that one ended up being really good. So my expectations for this are decent. Now, as you guys know, um, they can be used as a splash or they give you hey, a little atomizer. Um, I prefer to use the atomizer. I'm not a fan of splashes. So this is gonna be a situation where, do I smell it not atomized? I'm holding my breath. Actually, no, I'm not. I just took a breath in. Uh, I can't smell anything anyway. And there you go. It just screws on like that. Cool. Never use the splash, but go ahead and give this a spray and we'll see what it's all about. Not bad. Has a little bit of a, a definitely a unisexual, maybe feminine quality right off the top for sure. And by the way, of course, CK1, they're all unisex, right? Go either way for you. And I can see that here, definitely nothing masculine about her, over, overly feminine either. It's kind of right there in the middle. Uh, fruity, fresh, uplifting, summery for sure. This is the type of thing that I would smell in wintertime and just, just feel good inside. Just feel warm and fuzzy and be like, oh yeah, warmer months are around the corner. And really now at this point, they are. I mean, kind of uh, really warming up into spring here where the weather's been getting good. So... You know, this is the type of thing that gets me pumped up for that. Um, you can see here we have, I believe this is last year's CK1 Summer. I could be wrong on that. Don't remember for sure, but you know, just to kind of compare the two just briefly. <sighs> Couldn't even smell that at all. <laughs> yeah, see quite a bit different. So there's gonna be no redundancy between the two. Um, and last year's or whichever one this one was, was okay, not, not bad, but uh, this one here, you know, I like the fruitiness. It's a little bit more playful, a little bit of a hint of a sweetness as well. We'll take a look at the note breakdown here. We have kumquat up top, the only top note, mint and tea in the mid, white musk and vetiver in the base. Attractive note breakdown. You've got mint, you've got tea, you've got musk, you've got vetiver, and you even have kumquat, right? Um, kind of the mint and tea is what really catches my attention. I'm a fan of both of those notes. Uh, you know, when I think of tea fragrances, I think of most notably probably Silver Mountain Water as being one of my favorites by Creed. Uh, if you want a beast mode, you know, straight up tea monster of a fragrance, Nishane Wulan Sha would be a great one there. But I still prefer Silver Mountain Water. I think that's a great one. There's some cheaper ones out there as well. There's a Zaro Chrome United has a nice little tea note in there. And that's kind of the price range where this one is going to fall. And so comparing this tea-based fragrance to another cheaper one. You know, it's holding up well. One thing that I am noticing though right off the bat is it's it's sitting pretty close to the skin. It, it's relatively weak feeling to me here. I'll do another spray on. I do really like the opening. You know, it is kind of orangey. It has a little bit of a citric bite to it. You know, a little bit of a mintiness. There's almost like a ginger spicy kick as well, even though it's not listed. Uh, you know, light vetiver, light woods in the base, a whole bunch of musk in here as well, just just kind of adding a little bit of a fluffy layer to the scent because you do have some, some sharper notes here, so the musk kind of smooths things out a little bit for you. 
You know, uh, it's very pleasant. Um, opening is great. It does dissipate pretty quickly though. So that transition from opening to mid slash kind of dry down, it happens quick and it kind of happens all at once. There's almost really no mid to this fragrance. It kind of just zoop, went straight into the dry down to me because uh, it just kind of hit a wall and then it was linear from that point. So that opening is really probably the part that gets me the most excited. Uh, that being said, it, you know, it, it's probably not one that I'm going to get up for and say, hey guys, you need to go check this out right now because I can tell it's going to be a little bit on the softer side, right? And look, even once it hits discounters, 20 bucks, for the performance, you know, it's it's not justified in that way. Even though I'm not going to give it too hard of a time at that price point, I will say that a lot of people probably just won't want to pick it up because of that. And I understand, right? You know, summertime, you want something that's going to rock with you throughout the entire day, if, if possible. And I don't think this is going to be it. I mean, again, smelling it right now, you just saw me spray it again. It dissipates pretty quick. I mean, it moves, it really settles down fast. Um, it just doesn't seem like it has a whole lot of substance to it. I could be wrong. I could be jumping the gun. We'll continue to test it here, but I'm just not feeling too good about the performance. Scent wise, like I've said, is very pleasant. Nothing over the top, but at the same time, it is a Calvin Klein fragrance. And I think that's something we all need to remember. It's so easy to look at a Calvin Klein or, or some other you know designer brand with tons and tons of fragrances and flankers and, and stuff that is gonna be on the cheaper side and it's easy to rip into them. But at the end of the day, how do I look if I sat here and ripped into a Calvin Klein? I would probably look pretty pathetic because it's Calvin Klein, for God's sakes, right? There are so many other brands out there that are capable of doing great things and that do do great things, and you expect that out of them. You don't expect that out of Calvin Klein. So on the Calvin Klein scale, I rate this as one of the better ones scent-wise. Performance, again, I have to say, not looking so good. It's seriously dissipating so quick. Again, it is the vegan one, so it is the natural alcohol. I guess it would be an eau de toilette. Yeah, eau de toilette. But I mean, this is another example like I showed you with Polo Earth. You cannot see any fragrance. You know, even EDTs, you know, uh, lower concentrated scents, you can see like an, an oil or a film on your skin for a while after you apply it. And some niche fragrances that are EDPs and extraits, there will be a heavy oil on your skin. This, there's nothing there. It's It's gone. So, I understand from that perspective, it's just kind of the direction these brands are going here for the time being, just a small little trend. Um, you know, that's just kind of all I have for you. No breakdown looks great. Smell is nice. It's not going to last though. Uh, to that point, quality is decent as well. Uh, doesn't smell terrible, really, and quality wise. You know, Calvin Klein, it's another one where they could get hate for being synthetic, all of that stuff, but it's really quite smooth. And again, the opening, it's kind of rough, but in a good way, that citric bite, it really gets your attention. Um, but as for the dry down, as it settles down, yeah, the quality is still smooth, but it, it just doesn't change a lot. It hits a wall and it basically stops. And what you get after a couple minutes is what you're gonna get probably throughout the entirety of the scent, if I had to bet money, because it hasn't budged at all. So at the end of the day, uh, with this one here, I would approach this like you normally would approach a Calva Klein, you watching this, because it's individual, it's very specific. People who like the brand and like to collect these will end up picking this up at some point, especially once it hits discounters and you can get it for 25, 30 bucks, less than that maybe. People who are usually not too enthused about them, you're not gonna probably get riled up about this one either, so maybe just avoid it. It's kind of what this one appeals to. If you're a hardcore collector, pick it up. If you couldn't really care less about Calvin Klein and their summer editions, this is really nothing different. It's nice, but nothing different. So I think that's gonna do it for me. Uh, Calvin Klein Eternity Summer Days. Uh, and again, that's D-A-Z-E. Kind of sounds like summer days. D-A-Y-S, summer days. But no, that's not how it is. Uh, maybe a nice play on words, perhaps, but you know, is what it is. Um, it's really all I got for you, nothing else to say. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.